Alright, welcome back to my channel, and here we have um, another package, and I'm trying to do this one quick because I gotta go, actually. So, oh no, this is gonna be tough, I'm supposed to be quick, I don't even have my scissors. Ah, go crazy! Okay, I already actually have this figure. It's just that mine broke, it, it, its arm came off. Oh, come on. Oh my god. And now, I have two of them, and this one actually looks better than mine? What the shit? The face looks a lot better than mine. Okay, this one is mine right here. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it looks a little more glossier. I don't know, the paint looks better and the ear looks straight. This arm actually came off and I can't move it. You can kind of see it right there. And uh, it's probably gonna freaking fall in this review. So I'm gonna try to... Leave it somewhere in the back over here. And he, there he practically is. Oh no, I swear. Actually, no, we're gonna take it off. Cause I don't, I don't want to glue that arm down again. I'm gonna use this guy, and I do have. Now my previous. Okay, he works. He works. He works. I don't want to be booming with him a lot, but I'm definitely gonna do a stop motion with this guy. I might as well do the comparisons right now. Get him rid of. There he is. Oh crap, he's so tall, you can't even see him. There we go. There he is. The ammunition that I used in my previous stop motion, and I gotta say that he's very peasant like. I like I definitely like the sculpt the sculpt. I think I'm gonna do a review of um this guy himself later on, but he's definitely very small. So he looks like a midget. With his tiny legs or something, I don't know. That's that guy. And here, that's the... Um, like what, the 5 inch or something scale movie version. Pretty cool. Oh crap, that guy's gonna fall. Okay, let's do this real quick. Hulk, he actually scales pretty good. He actually... It's almost eye to eye. He's actually slightly... Shorter. Here we have another toy, this um, hook, but he's a lot shorter, and I actually like this hook, but I normally use my other hook, so, and here we have Build-A-Figure from Hasbro, and I think this is the perfect scale for Hulk and Abomination, he's kind of crouching down, but I really hope they do, um, I, do I do have all the accessories, I just, I hate his weapons and I hate his helmet, so that's that. And another build a figure right here. And I'm sorry if you can hear anything in the background. Very massive. I think this is an accurate size. I like the comparison between these two. And then, oh, he's so warm. Oh my god. I'm sorry if I'm rushing. This is just a. I actually have to go. This is a lot more tighter than my previous one. So, oh man, it looks glossy. And something that I noticed that almost every single one of them, their eyes are like completely um crooked. Something that I also noticed is this thing right here. Like the missing paint on the shoulder is also on all of them. Um, there's the missing paint in the joints. Is it on all of them? In the elbows. But apart from that, the small little, oh man, I know I have this one, and it's literally the same thing. It's just that mine, I couldn't move it, because I was so scared it was going to break, or it was going to fall out. And mine actually just popped up uh, out of the shelf, I just literally grabbed it, and I was like, oh wow, this hand is so loose now. And um, I like tilted it a little bit, and it completely fell out. And I just glued it down, and I never moved it. I never played with them either, like, in stop motion, so I don't know what happened. I am going to use this one for stop motion, but I'm going to try to be careful. And right here, we're going to have some comparisons right now of the pictures, just real quick. Of his likeness. So, yeah. Now, I think we're going to move on. No, actually, no. Looking a little bit more into the shading. 
There, there are some different shades of green. So there are like three of them, I think. There's one right here. And then obviously that one and obviously this one. Now, since the first one that I bought was new, I do have the the comic that it came with. Number 25. And I'm, it, I do have this. So there is his um, little... If you want to read it, you can pause it. And actually something that, if you can see, they are not the same from how it's supposed to come. And he does have a variant. I was going to buy it, but um, I'm not rich. So <laughs> I may actually buy it um, because I'm going to work right now. This is, what, this is why I'm rushing. But I would I likely prefer this version over that one. But I still like this figure. I wonder if any customizers have done it like this. Like that little ball joint just changed a lot and the paint detail is a lot better. Oh man, I would definitely buy this figure if it looked like that. This figure is still cool though, I like the size. It's still the same sculpt, same um, size, same everything. So definitely pretty cool. So I think, yeah, look at the face. I, I just wish, I was actually um, planning. I think now that um, I have two, I might just like get a, like, a yellow paint or something. And color their eyes completely yellow like this one and this is the variant by the way this is not the um the build a figure there's one that is this is like the variant. yeah it's pretty much the variant just a different paint application and i was trying to i'm thinking of doing exactly this so now that i have two i may actually do that i'll be careful but i lost track of which one is which i'm just doing it by the temperature of the figure because this one is more hotter Yeah, definitely very cool. Oh man, let me see if any flaws. Not really. From the guy, joints are nice and not loose. Jesus Christ, this guy is so stiff. That's just how he is. But yeah, this guy can actually go at it against like um Hulk and um Thor. I'm actually going to roll a clip right now of him actually um knocking down Thor. I suppose if gamma energy has no effect on a thunder god, then you will simply have to serve as entertainment. Come for me! Not scared. You will be. Man, this is just a better representation of Abomination. I mean, he, I think he looks exactly like he should. This guy does look pretty like him too, but it's just um. And by the way, the the reason why I chose this um this screen, this figure instead of the build a figure is because I feel like it was easier to get, and because I prefer this screen. Like I feel like I see a constant green instead of shading, but I'm probably gonna get the build a figure as well. So two more two more main um abomination figures to get, so I can have the most of them. But yeah, I, I think it's pretty obvious that I like Abomination since I have four of them. The only character that I have multiple characters of is um, obviously Hulk, because that's my favorite superhero. And Abomination is my favorite um, my favorite Hulk villain. So, I think it's very awesome. And I just the sculpting on this figure looks epic. It There are some... It looks like... Some scratches right here. I mean, this, you can't really notice because mine doesn't have that, does it? No, it doesn't. Like mine is a lot more clear, while this one is a lot more um, scratched up or something. It's still very well taken care of. I feel like the shades on the legs don't really match. This one is a lot darker, while that one is a lot more clear. Pretty sure you can see it. Oh man, I'm so glad that I can move his arms and everything now. I'm gonna be careful with him because I remember a while back that I was moving in one video, one of the earlier reviews that I had. I was moving him like crazy. I don't know if I, I don't know if it was me or I don't know what happened or if it was just a cold day or something. I have no idea what happened with this this figure. I was so upset and actually I ended up not liking it much. And I think I like it more now just because I can move it around. It's definitely going on my top five um, favorite figures. Very awesome figure. 
So yeah, I'm actually slowing down the Marvel Legends. Um, they're not gonna be a lot of um videos because I don't know. I just don't have the money to be buying um the Toy Biz figures and then buying the Hasbro. So I don't know which wouldn't like like to get my favorite Toy Biz figures that I'm missing or um then save for the Hasbro Legends. So I think I'm gonna save for um. I mean, I think I'm gonna buy the Toy Biz ones though because. I want the, I pretty much want the X-Men wave and um, the thing, and I think that's the main things that I want, I don't want the Silver Surfer, I don't care for it, I don't I don't think I want the Deadpool 2 wave and all of those, but yeah, very awesome figure, and I think I'm just going to try to catch up with my um, Toy Biz figures, and if you would ask me which one is better between these two, I'm pretty sure you already got the idea that I like this one a lot more, I'm not saying this guy is a uh, bad figure, I just, the only, I love his upper body like tilt his thighs to his um kneecaps not kneecaps what is it the ankles then i don't like it it's just because it's just so rhino like from the build a figure that's why i think i don't like it but i really do like the face and i definitely prefer this face over that one but that one does feel like it has a little bit more detail and i like the harder plastic on this figure it's very heavy I love it. I love how he like so hard compared to mine. Mine's like not loose, just he doesn't make this type of noise. So yeah, there I have my review. And let's move on to articulation. Okay, really quickly and um gently, we're gonna go through the articulation. He can't really look up, he can look a little bit straight. He can look all the way down. His arms can go up that far. And he can go 360. I just don't wanna move it a lot. And he has a bicep swivel, single jointed um, elbows, no ro no wrist rotation or anything, but he does have a um, this um, articulation right here in the wrist and um, four fingered articulations in the fingers. Same for the other other hand. Um, he does have a waist swivel, no ab crunch. His um his legs can go up that far, and he can move. Oh my god! Okay, he can kick up around that far. And he can I mean kick forward, and he can kick backwards this far. And he has a, does have a bicep, I mean not a bicep, a thigh, double jointed knees, and his ankle can go down and up. And he has um, some articulation and um, a slight ankle um, rocker. So now let me show you where he's going to go on the shelf. Alright, so I, left, I changed some stuff up here. And I end up putting my broken abomination right here with a very loose hook that I have. Oh, he's stepping on a uh, absorbing man. A uh, figure that I'm probably never going to use. I like it, but yeah. And then right here hasn't changed much. This is how it looks. This part right here, and my new abomination is going to be right here because I know I'm going to grab them and do some stop motions with them. So yeah, that's this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next review.